So this here is Ashley. Ashley is an olive python, and when she's full size, she'll be one of the largest species of snakes that we have in Australia. But if she's ever gonna make it to that size, she needs to eat. And right now, it's feeding time. Caution. What you're about to see is a medium-sized snake strike, constrict, and swallow whole two large dead rats. There is no blood or gore of any kind, however the following scenes may be disturbing to some viewers. This video has been produced for educational purposes and is not intended in any way to be a celebration of violence between animals. Okay, Ashley, time for your moment of stardom. That's it, down you go. Okay, just straighten you out there a bit, sweetie. Because you don't want to go play with the tripods. You want to be over here because that's where your food's going to be. No, 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 not that way. Not that way. Let's get you that way. There we are, settle, settle, perfect, stay, stay. Good snake, you believe I trained her. Stay, get you your food. Reptiles are the masters of energy conservation. Being cold blooded means that the energy from their food isn't going towards warming up their bodies like it does for us, other mammals and birds. Further to this, reptiles can lower their metabolic rate and enter into almost a power saving mode, storing up energy that they can release in huge explosive outbursts, like a crocodile lunging out of the water or like a snake striking at its target. So let's see how Ashley does it. Was that too fast for you? Let's take it back and slow it down. Inside her mouth, she has over 30 teeth shaped like fishing hooks. When she grabs her food, she doesn't want to lose it. One of these teeth gets snagged. On the second strike, she turns her head sideways slightly to hit more cleanly. Then she throws her body around it, constricting it. There is a common misconception about snakes. When they wrap around their prey, they're not squeezing as hard as they can or attempting to crush the animal. They don't need to. Remember that energy conservation is the name of the game. They only have to hold onto their prey tight enough that once their prey exhales, it can't breathe in again. Simply overpowering the muscles that allow the ribcage to expand is enough. But once they've killed their food, the hard part really begins, swallowing it. Let's speed this up. The most challenging part of swallowing their prey is the shoulders. Usually if a snake can get past the shoulders, they can swallow the whole animal. The shoulders are down, the rest should be much easier. Let's take a break for a moment to admire a not so gross feature of this animal. When the light hits her scales just right, they light up with a rainbow iridescence. You can see the entire rainbow in her scales from red all the way to purple. Now Ashley has a problem. How do you breathe with a mouth this full? The answer is with a snorkel. That pinkish thing coming out of her mouth is the end of her trachea, the tube which leads directly into her lungs. She can extend her trachea like a snorkel to continue breathing whilst she is swallowing. You can even see each breath that she takes. Another mistake people commonly make is saying that a snake dislocates their jaw when they're feeding. This is entirely untrue, but the truth is much more interesting. Her jaw is here, still attached at the top, but it's not attached to her other jaw. Snakes have what we call an unfused lower dentary. Essentially, they do not have a chin. 
When they eat a large meal, they open their lower jaws sideways and the skin in between stretches to fit the food into their mouth. She swallows by repeatedly bending and straightening her spine, forcing the prey deeper with each movement. Now that the last of it is in, she has to wiggle it all the way down to her stomach. But the work isn't done yet. After all of this, she has only just gotten started. Over the next week, she will be mass producing stomach acid to digest her food. Within the next two days, her liver will have doubled in size. Her heart will have grown by 40%. In fact, her metabolism will step into overdrive, operating at a rate 44 times greater than when she hasn't fed. After a week or so, she will pass the rat's fur. Everything else, including the bones, will have been digested. But for now, she just needs to readjust some things. So as gross and unusual as it is to watch this, this is an important part of this snake's life. She's a predator, and so she needs to eat prey in order to survive and to grow. She's an important part of her ecosystem, and in fact, this one meal will keep her going for over a month. Oh, that was so cool! As you finish, she yawns.